Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Steve. I'm a licensed journeyman electrician in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I've got a passion for electricity and helping people and I like to combine those things in these YouTube videos. Today's topic is on how do you become a journeyman electrician in Canada? So whether you've just graduated, you've moved here from another country, or you're just thinking about a career change, this video is gonna break down step-by-step step how to become an electrician in Canada. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So first off, what does it mean to be an electrician in Canada? So electricians are skilled tradespeople that work on installing, maintaining, and repairing electrical systems. And there's kind of three main types of electrical work you'll be doing, which might be residential, commercial, or industrial. Now this is a red seal trade, which basically means it's recognized all across Canada. So if you're a journeyman in Vancouver, British Columbia, you can go over to Ontario and they're still gonna accept it because it's all the same curriculum. So to become a journeyman electrician in Canada, you have to first complete your apprenticeship, which depending on where you are, it's gonna take about four to five years to complete. And that's 80% hands-on learning and about 20% of the time you'll be in a classroom learning electrical theory. And this is a rare opportunity where you actually get paid to learn compared to, you know, if you go to university, you're paying to learn. So that is one of the benefits and why a lot of people even get into trades because there is also a large demand for trades, which means good job security. And as far as the schooling goes, most places do require at least a high school diploma. So make sure you have that. But now the big question, how do you actually start an apprenticeship? So one of the ways is just simply applying online, trying to find companies that are willing to hire a first year apprentice. Now that can be difficult when you have no experience. So you can apply to private companies, you know, small companies and stuff like that, or you can also apply to the union and they will kind of help you try to find a job. Now I've never worked for a union, so I can't speak too much on that and that route. You're going to have to do your own research on that but I have heard it is a great route to take. So if you're applying to places and nobody's willing to hire you because you have zero experience, that's okay. They do have a thing called a pre-apprenticeship. Now this is what I did. It takes about six months to complete. And here you'll be doing both hands-on and electrical theory work. And by the end of it, the idea is to have a little bit of experience. And once I completed my pre-apprenticeship, I pretty much had no problem getting a job right away after but maybe the times have changed, so don't take that as 100% truth. So now let's say you have landed a job. Now this is where the real work begins and your apprenticeship starts. So an apprenticeship is at about four to five years, like I said before, and that's 20% of the time you'll be in the classroom, 80% of the time you'll be in the field. You need a total of about 8,000 to 10,000 hours of on-job training under a journeyman electrician, and that's where your sponsor comes into play. So when you start working as an electrician, as an apprentice, you're gonna to have to register yourself as an apprentice with your local authority. In British Columbia, that is the ITA. So look into that. This will be super easy once you start working and your employer will actually help you with it. The whole point of this is just to make sure that you're actually getting trained by a real company and getting real hours under a journeyman electrician. There's also four levels of schooling that you're gonna to have to complete. So that is four separate times you're gonna to have to go into school and for about eight to 10 weeks be learning electrical theory and each level gets harder and harder. So now let's say you've completed your schooling and your eight to 10,000 hours, whatever is required in your province, and that's all complete. There's one last thing to do. That's to pass the IP exam, which is the Red Seal certification exam. So once you've done your schooling, you've gotten your hours and you've completed your exam, now you're officially a journeyman electrician and you can travel anywhere in Canada and that certification will be accepted. And now I'm just gonna give you guys a couple of tips and things that I wish I did differently in my apprenticeship. And number one would be networking. When you're in school, you're learning with 20 different electricians and you'll probably all work for different companies. So you should be talking to other people, seeing what they're doing and finding, oh, I like what this guy does. Maybe I could come work with his company. You know, make lots of friends and just stay connected because that can really benefit you in the future if you do wanna advance your career and you wanna take this quite seriously. Another good tip is buy good tools, 
one thing I did is I bought a lot of cheap tools and it ended up costing me a lot more because I'd burn out drills and then buy the same shitty little drill. So I would suggest just get the good stuff once and it'll actually save you money. This video is more about how you can become an electrician in Canada. I have a whole nother video of what to expect as an apprentice electrician. So go check that out. The link's in the description below. So that's it for this one, guys. If there's anything I didn't cover, you have any questions at all, please hit me up on Instagram or TikTok. You can DM me there or leave a comment below and I will get back to you. That is my promise. I really like helping people. So please don't be afraid to reach out. So thanks for watching. As always, guys, stay safe, wave away all of the hate, and let's get paid. Woo!